Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video and today we have a very special video. Now if you have been watching me for a long time, even before you know I kind of blew up for a little bit and we hit the 50k and 100k subs, which thank you very much for all the subscribers and support, we're almost at 150k, I love you guys. But yeah, if you have been watching me before that and you've seen this series I did called the Wheel of Terraria where we would take Terraria challenges and put them on a wheel and spin the wheel and then do whatever challenge it lands on. Now the thing is, we put the challenges on a virtual wheel. And and I've always talked about how I wanted to buy a real wheel, but they're they're kind of expensive. I wouldn't say they're crazy. It's in like that 40, 50 range if you want a decent one. But thanks to you guys and all your support, you know, I was able to get my hands on one. And today we're going to be doing another sort of battle royale slash tournament slash gauntlet with these 10 NPCs. But how we're going to decide what the matchups are, we're going to put these NPCs on the wheel, spin the wheel, the real life wheel, and whatever two NPCs it lands on, those two will go head to head. And you know, let's just see what happens. I'm not looking for any particular winner we're just trying to see some mayhem we're gonna be using the npc combat mod made by rev miami make sure you check it out on the mod browser it's a mod that allows npcs to fight each other but yeah let's go ahead let's get to the arena and let's get to the wheel all right so here we are i'm using a uh, different mic than usual it's my old snowball mic and uh, hopefully the audio quality is good it's probably better than my camera's audio quality but yeah here we are we have a wheel here it says spin to win we're not winning anything honestly uh, the only win here is probably death and fatality and injury so there's no there's not really a win i guess there there's one winner but what, what do you win in the end let's go ahead and spin the wheel as you can see some of the colors on some of these npcs when i you know printed them the colors just vanished i don't know why i still had ink but you know whatever let's get to spinning so there you go there's our first spin let's see who's number one okay so we got the guide and let's spin one more time and see who the guide is going up against boom give that a nice good spin and uh, let's see who the guide is going against. And he's going against the Cactus NPC from the Juice mod. This, this is going to be a tough matchup for the guide. All right, so we have the Cactus NPC and the guide here. We're going to do a best of three. And uh, let's see who's going to take the W. I have cut off the sides here because usually if we come down here, we can see that there's a lava pit they fall into. You know, we're just going to have them just duke it out. No lava pit included this time. You know, in future iterations, if you guys really like this video, in future iterations of a battle arena, we can, uh, you know, add a little bit more spice you know add more traps and stuff like that let's go ahead round one against the cactus npc and the guy let's see who takes the w now if i were to guess 100 i'm putting my odds on the cactus npc taking the w because as you can see the cactus npc is overpowered i just threw him in as a wild card i was gonna have it as all vanilla npcs but you no know, i wanted to throw an npc in there for a wild card and of course the poor god gets to go up against them all right moving on to round two here and i'm assuming the same outcome oh a little stare off before oh the guide actually getting some hits in there if the guide can take a w that would be very surprising but the cactus npc shuts that down really quick congratulations the cactus npc this is what you get as a reward It's not that good of a reward to be honest all right after that round one matchup you know it was kind of an upset the cactus npc as i expected took the w but let's go ahead let's spin again and see you know what npcs we get this time now i'm hoping the npcs are a fair matchup okay uh, <laughs> let's go ahead let's spin and see what we get now let's hope that this time the npcs are a fair matchup but you know i can't really control destiny we got the guide again okay interesting but hopefully no cactus npc this time no cactus npc if it's the cactus npc we reroll it was almost a cactus npc but instead it's the arms dealer let's go ahead let's put them to the test now if i'm being honest this matchup seems more respectable more fair and i'm hoping that we might have a different outcome like i'm i'm talking about like guide wins one round arms dealer wins the next but uh you know that kind of rarely happens in the npc arena it's happened like once or twice but let's go ahead let's see if it happens here today round one guide versus arms dealer begin so these guys are both range. So this might be an easy fight for the arms dealer. I just feel bad for the guide at this point. He is just getting picked on. All right, let us go ahead and start the next round. I don't even, I was trying to be optimistic. So I don't even have anything to say. Congratulations arms dealer for taking the W. The guide, he's able to get his one hit off and he's gone. Rest in peace guide. If we land on the guide again, I think we just got a respin, honestly. All right, we are back to the wheel. So no guide and probably no cactus NPC unless it's the truffle and cactus NPC. I feel like that might be a matchup. But yeah, let's go ahead, let's spin it. We're gonna spin it, a little, little baby spin, okay? 
We're gonna give it a little baby spin. So we got the Tavern Keep NPC. And let's see who he's going up against. We'll give it a nice big boy spin. That was a bad spin. My hand kind of slipped. Versus the merchant. All right. So merchant versus tavern keep. I don't know if this is going to be even or not. I guess we'll see. All right. So hopefully these two NPCs will put up a fight because I know some NPCs are known to just sit still and idle and just not do anything. And you got to kind of encourage them to fight a little bit. But let's see. Let's see. So far, tavern keeper unfazed. So we might have to give him a little push, which uh, might honestly be unfair here. How about we move Howard back a little bit and then we do this. Oh, there we go. Give him a little bit of motivation. Let's see if he puts up a fight now. Okay, we got ourselves a battle. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the best battle because the Tavern Keep seems he doesn't want to throw anything. It seems a lot of these battles have been one-sided, but it's not by choice. It's just by choice of the NPC. If the NPC actually wants to put up a fight or what, Tavern Keep kind of giving us a little bit of a fight, but the consistency is on the merchant side, as you can see. Throwing out a knife every couple of seconds, and there goes the Tavern Keep. His name was Barkeep, the Tavern Keep. Very interesting, but congratulations for the merchant taking the first round let's move on to the next one all right again let's hope that the tavern keep puts up a fight and i don't have to move everyone around i probably do let's move humph or humphrey that's his name is humphrey that's an interesting name will they battle now will they battle now tavern keep just getting his cheeks clapped i don't know no homo on that one I don't, I don't know about that i might have to take that phrase out of my list of phrases that i use but let's see if he even throws a second glass of ale the merchant is asking for his finest glass of ale and the tavern keep is giving it to him he's giving it to him come on tavern keep come on oh my god but do y'all hear that do y'all hear that we have a challenger approaching. The angler has stepped in for the tavern keep to sort of give a little bit of a redemption arc, maybe. Let's see. Let's see. If the angler wins, we're just going to give the dub to the tavern keep, okay? The angler has very, very, very good velocity on his throwing daggers, but he keeps throwing them upwards for some reason. And uh, honestly, he's looking like a stalemate. Let's move you closer. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to throw up there. Let's move it closer. You may say this match might be a little bit rigged, but you know, the angler and the tavern keep, I know their best friends might even be his father. The tavern keep might be the angler's father. Who knows? Because the angler is just a kid and the angler doesn't even die. When he loses all his health, he kind of just vanishes from existence. He kind of just vanishes from existence. I don't know if we're going to see it here because I don't think the merchant's going to win, but we don't know. The, the angler also is just kind of standing in the corner. I don't know why NPCs do this sometimes. We have had all out blood baths before, and sometimes we just have this for the NPC just sits there. Cold stare on his face. Now, if you notice, I don't have any modded NPCs. Well, besides the cactus NPC, and that's because I kind of want to do their own little like wheel battle, you know, put all the thorium NPCs together and maybe even put all the calamity ones, even though they're really OP. But congratulations to the angler, aka the tavern keeps adopted son we're just gonna count that as a w for the tavern keep they paid me to give them the w okay so we're gonna do two more rounds here and uh hopefully like i said we get some decent matchups man these matchups have been kind of iffy but i don't know we'll see what happens let's go ahead let's give it a nice spin here I'm hoping we get an NPC that we haven't seen yet boom the goblin tinkerer we haven't seen him yet and one more spin come on Come on, and the witch doctor. This, this might actually be a matchup here. I'm hoping that this is gonna be a decent matchup because it seems like most of our decent matchups come from Thorium NPCs versus some vanilla NPCs or just Thorium NPCs versus Thorium NPCs. So let's see, maybe this is gonna be a good matchup or maybe they just get sitting and stare at each other or maybe they just can't even reach each other with their attacks. Let's see, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, the first shot has been fired. Oh my God, he's like a machine gun with the darts. Is the guy, oh. He throws out a spike ball, triple hits him. Now the goblin, all he needs to do is throw out a couple of those and this can be a very easy W. Cause look, oh my God, is this a comeback? Is this a comeback? Oh man, this is probably the closest fight yet. This is probably the closest fight yet. The goblin tinker just needs to throw one more. One more, he still has a chance. And it's over. Oh, it was almost a tie too, what the heck? It was almost a tie, but the witch doctor takes the first round. We might have us a battle here. All right, let's do round two, see what happens. I'm putting my money on the goblin tinker this time around. I feel like, you know, if he gets the right bounce on his balls, no homo, then he can take the W unless he just doesn't throw a ball. Oh, he threw a ball. Oh, oh, 
Oh my god, he might have the Witch Doctor on the ropes. Another ball. Oh my god, the Witch Doctor killing himself by repeat repeatedly walking into the ball. And oh my god, the Goblin Tinker takes the second round. Moving on to the third and final round. The third and final round is here. It's anyone's game. Let's see who takes the W. Now, if the Goblin actually tries, he can easily take the W. Oh, and he's actually trying. Right out the gate, he's got the Witch Doctor in the corner already. Oh my god, this is a close one. The Witch doctor if he can keep his range will take the w with no problem oh but that might be it oh it bounces off the wall it's a close fight the witch doctor is trapped and the goblin tinker killing himself on the way out a respectful thing to do but before he kills himself he takes the w from the witch doctor take the w out of his name itch doctor <laughs> all right so here we are with the final round the two nbcs we haven't seen yet is the truffle and the skeleton merchant and also the demolitionist we haven't seen so uh let's hope that we get one of them it, it doesn't really matter because we just had probably our most interesting fight and honestly i'm pretty content with that but let's see if we can get another interesting one and yet another evenly well matched one in this video go ahead give it a nice spin the wheel one of the things just fell off of the wheel. I might have to fix that. Skeleton Merchant is all good. I'm just going to spin it anyways. <laughs> One of the pegs on the wheel just fell off. So, you know, it won't stop because the peg fell off of the, the Witch Doctor and Guide spot. But don't worry. It landed on the Merchant. Two Merchants battling it out. Let's see who wins. All right. So this is our fifth and final match. Let's hope these two put up a great fight. The Skeleton Merchant, I'm a little bit worried about because I know he's kind of iffy in his uh, combat. But, uh, you know, what, what's his name? No-Eyed Willy? Okay. It's not Rattles Magoo. So maybe the fight will be okay. Let's do it. Round one. Merchant versus Merchant. And so far... The fight is so intense that both of them are showing no emotion. Come on, fight each other. I gotta give them a little encouragement. There we go. A little bit of encouragement goes a long way. So both these merchants, they have pretty decent attacks. They got ranged attacks, but I think, is he is he wave dashing? <laughs> I think the uh, skeleton merchant has a way better attack though, because he's got way more velocity in his knives or his bones, I guess. And as you can see, the merchant can't even get a knife to hit him. Look at the velocity on his knives. They just drop before they hit him. If only the merchant would aim a little bit higher, then he would hit the skeleton merchant no problem. Let's give the merchant a little bit of encouragement here. A little closer. There we go. He finally hit him, but it might be too late. And he goes right back in the corner. Come on. A little encouragement, man. Oh my God. I I'm trying my best to give- Oh man, he's actually dodging. We gotta give it to the Skeleton Merchant for actually dodging here. Go ahead and finish him off. There we go. Round one goes to the Skeleton Merchant. So what I'm looking out for in the next round is getting these two NPCs a little bit closer so that they hit each other. Maybe I should condense the arena a little bit more. You know, the bright side of this is that we might see a Skeleton Merchant take a W in a non-RNG slash luck based game. So uh, let's see if he can take the W fully or if this condensed arena will put up a more evenly matched fight. Let's begin it. Round two. Let's see if anything happens. Will they even fight without me touching them? Absolutely not. NPCs don't like to do that sometimes. Time. so let me do this there you go Harold give you a little motivation oh they both get first blood at the exact same time I think that was perfectly time for both of them to hit each other come on mandible calavera you gotta get in the fight man this is a perfect distance for both of you oh man he's giving out a barrage a storm the merchant finally fighting back throwing one knife bro I condensed the arena for you so that you wouldn't miss your knives but yet here you are just giving him a nice gust of wind in his face a little breeze how close you're throwing that knife but it isn't close enough come on get, get in there Calavera is that his name mandible Calavera interesting name personally I don't think I would name my kid that but no offense to him he might take the W here today go ahead mandible finish him go ahead mandible go ahead mandible he's not doing anything all right a little bit of encouragement come on we came here to see a fight, not a fucking stare off. Get in there. Just end the fight. You know he's not going to put up a fight. But there you go. The Skeleton Merchant takes a W. It's something you want to see. Too bad it isn't Rattles. But, uh, you know, Mandible Calavera, the next best thing. Probably better than Rattles, honestly. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, it's a little unique and interesting idea that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to do something with the wheel. And uh, finally getting around to doing something since I bought it recently. But yeah, maybe we'll bring back the wheel of Terraria now that we have an actual wheel. And, you know, we could do even more videos with the wheel and NPCs fighting each other like i said i kind of want to do one with modded npcs like the thorium ones and maybe other mods but we'll see i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy watching my content and also make sure to follow my twitch twitter and join my discord and check out my second youtube channel where i post my full twitch live streams bye bye love you guys we're almost at 150k thank you for everything